what's going on everyone my name's Dave West I hope we're all well so welcome back to the ultimate video test for 2020 we're back after the winter break and today we're checking out the Google Pixel 3a now the Pixel 3a has been out since last May I appreciate that however with the Pixel 4a rumored to be around the corner the Pixel 3a and 3a XL are likely to get some discounts by Google which makes them even more of a bargain buy now we all know by now that the Pixel 3a and Pixel 3a XL have excellent still cameras. They use the same unit as the larger Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. But I wanted to check out what the video is like and see exactly what you get for around £400. Now as with all Ultimate Video Tests, I'll leave all of the main camera specifications down in the description. And I'll just run through some of the high level features throughout this video to help save you a bit of time. So we'll start with the front facing camera then, and this is an 8 megapixel fixed focus camera. It can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. It has built in electronic image stabilization, and both the front and the rear cameras record in stereo sound with noise cancellation to help stop the wind deflecting into the mics on a day like today. Now, one of the first things I noticed when I started using the Pixel 3a, especially for video, is that the front-facing camera has a much wider field of view than I was expecting compared to other handsets in this price range. So you can fit much more into this view and even taking into account the electronic image stabilization crop, you still get a nice wide field of vision. All right, so first of all, let's check out uh, exposure and how the phone handles that from the front-facing camera. So it's pretty bright sun today. It's very low sunshine as well. And it's a nice smooth transition between bright light and my face, so it seems to be nicely exposed. And then the background does have some slight blown up highlights, but nothing to be sniffed at at this price range. So a great way to test out this image stabilization is to run down this sand dune here. I haven't exactly got the right footwear for this kind of terrain, but it will give us an idea of how well the Pixel 3a helps to stabilize the front facing camera image. So here we go. So that's what the front facing camera can do with the Pixel 3a. Switch to the main rear camera now and show you what that's all about. So this is the main rear camera then, and this is a 12.2 megapixel autofocus camera. It also has dual face detection autofocus, and it has auto HDR, and like the front facing camera, it also has electronic image stabilization. Now one good thing with that is you can switch that off in the settings, and if you wanted to use a gimbal and remove the crop that you get from the rear camera you can do so if you wish but for the purpose of this video I'll just show you what it's like with the electronic image stabilization now we can record up to 4k at 30 frames per second however if you do knock it down to 1080p you can record up to 60 frames per second which is what we're recording in now now one thing I noticed is that the 1080p video at 60 frames per second does seem to be in a slightly kind of lower resolution almost as if the phone is recorded in a lower format and then upscaled it to 1080p however in nice bright conditions like this the video is nice and colorful and the stabilization does work really well it's nice and smooth and keeps the image as straight as possible So at 60 FPS then, let's check out autofocus. And you can see it gets a, a pretty quick lock on the subject. Just move away. You tell me what you think of color and detail. And hopefully you can see the benefit of the smoother frame rate as I just pan round. Helps to make things look a bit more realistic, especially if you're using this to film for sports or the fast-moving action, for example, a concert or a show or anything else which kind of fits the 60 FPS scenario. 
All right, so there's the 60 FPS, then we'll switch to 4K 30 now and show you what that is all about. All right, so this is 4K then at 30 frames per second. Again, with the electronic image stabilization switched on. Now, to give you an idea, I'll just show you a clip now without the image stabilization. So it just defaults back to optical stabilization. Now, the stabilization method used by Google for the Pixel 3a is what they call hybrid image stabilization. And that uses a combination of optical and electronic image stabilization to get you a much smoother image. Now, in low lights, that is at the expense of image quality. It gets terribly fuzzy and quite mushy and gets that kind of weird jello effect that you see once you start losing light. So let's check out how the phone handles exposure then. So look directly at the sun and then back down to ground level. And you can see it's a nice smooth transition between where the phone handles bright light into the center and then back down to the ground, which is cool. Now in video mode, the Pixel 3a also offers up to three times digital zoom. Now obviously that is at the expense of detail and sharpness, but I'll just show you how that works. Just tap the screen once and then you can move. So that's one time, two times, and then all the way up to three times digital. So you can see the water has lost a bit of its sharpness there. Uh, but the stabilization still works really well. And if needs must, that is not a shabby image by any means. That still looks pretty good. Now you can also adjust for exposure, so you can go darker or brighter just by using the slider at the top of the screen. So you let me know what you think of the video quality at 4K at 30 frames per second. It's very difficult to see what the finished image is gonna look like through the viewfinder as it is now. So recording live but having just done some quick test footage previously uh, i think the video is more than good enough for the price point all right so to finish off the rear facing camera video test then we'll just check out image stabilization with a bit of running Now we're looking through the viewfinder, the image is like really, really steady. So I'm hoping that translates into the encoded video at the same time. So there's the rear facing camera then on the Pixel 3a. You let me know what you think. So that is the end of the video test for the Pixel 3a. I think it does a perfectly good job for the money in good daylight conditions such as this. Not so good in low light, however, that is for a different video test altogether, which will be coming on the channel very soon. I will also cover a video showing Filmic Pro on the Pixel 3a. It does do it very well. And again, that will be in an upcoming video very, very soon. If you've got any questions about the Pixel 3a video, then please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos coming like this very soon on the channel. But for now, this has been my ultimate video test for the Pixel 3a. My name's Dave West, and I'll catch you guys later.